Jose Mourinho sparked another post-match storm after Manchester United completed a dramatic comeback to stun Juventus in Turin. On the day the FA decided to continue fighting their case against Mourinho following comments he made after United beat Newcastle last month. He upset Juve fans after a memorable 2-1 victory in the Allianz Stadium. The former Inter Milan coach manager insisted he was responding to taunts from the Italian fans when he cupped his hands to his ears, bringing an angry response from Juve defender Leonardo Bonazzi. Mourinho, who had to be escorted off the pitch, said, I didn't offend anyone at the end, I just made a gesture that I wanted to hear them louder. I probably shouldn't have done it, and with a cool head I wouldn't have done it. Dot, but with my family insulted, including my Inter family, I reacted like this. Mourinho had said before the game that he would not respond to the Juve fans again after brandishing three fingers at them during United's defeat at Old Trafford a fortnight ago to represent the trouble he won with Inter in 2010. Before I said that I would not do it, but then I did, he added. Don't you remember what they did to me? But that sign is not an offense. Former United favorite Paul Scholes criticized Mourinho for his actions which once again overshadowed a comeback victory by United. This is everywhere he goes, said Scholes. You need to win with a bit of class sometimes, shake the manager's hand. I don't think there's any need for it but that's the way he is. Scholes played in a famous United win in Turin in April 1999 when Sir Alex Ferguson's came from two goals down in a Champions League semi-final to win 3-2 on the night. And this was another sensational victory. Former United star Cristiano Ronaldo volleyed Juve ahead but United came back to hand the Italian champions their first defeat of the season with two late goals. Juan Mata scored an excellent free kick and Alexandro then scored in his own goal from a header by another United substitute, Marwan Fellaini. Mourinho said, On a beautiful Italian day, I made a little thing. I know millions are happy with the win, but I respect Juventus and the quality they have. I am really proud of my boys because they did everything. We had to come and not feel inferior. We were in a situation where we thought we needed to go to the last second of the match. Juventus have phenomenal players. The Cristiano Ronaldo goal was beautiful, and the player, Bonixai, that made the beautiful pass, is a central defender. They are a fantastic team with an amazing record at home. If United beat Young Boys at home in their next game and Valencia do not beat Juventus, then Mourinho's side will qualify for the knockout stage from Group H. He added, We have one final to play at home against Young Boys. If my mathematics is right, then we qualify, so I think now I leave it to the Old Trafford people. I hope we arrive on time. We had an amazing escort here today, thank you to the Italian police. Hopefully, we can get all three points. Mata celebrated a momentous win saying, what a nice last 5 minutes. It is a very good night for us to get 3 points against Juventus in Italy. It's amazing. I have confidence in my free kicks at the moment. I train a lot. Paul Pogba struggled on his first appearance in Turin since a £89 million return to United, but emerged a winner as his presence on the goal line forced Sandra to score in his own net. I celebrated for the goal, said Pogba. It was strange. It touched a lot of people. We had maybe an extra breath or power to push it at the end. A frustrated Ronaldo echoed Juventus' feelings that they had been the victims of a smash and grab by United. We should have won the game easily. Three or four goals. He said. Manchester didn't do much in my opinion. 